Hey everybody, I'm Adam. I'm Michael. And today we're going to get you caught up because you haven't really heard us for three weeks. Because uh, Has it been three weeks? I think it has. We're bored in Ohio. Now, any of our listeners know by now, we have unannounced breaks. Not always because we're doing something fun, sometimes because you're falling apart. Yeah. And I can't do this without you. Because nobody wants to hear just me talking. You know what? You don't know that. But if we were getting paid, we would we would give you a schedule. We'd let you know when we're not. Oh, gonna... yeah, if we were getting paid, yeah, then yeah. If, we'd be fired by now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I figured since it's been a while, we could just kind of get caught up on things that we've seen, be it at the movies or... TV, you know, Disney Plus just started this week, and we both have it because why? I only have it. it. I only have it because I had Verizon Unlimited, so I get it free for a year. That's good. And I I, just got Verizon Unlimited last month. I did the deal where you pre-purchased like three years and ends up being like four bucks a month. That's a way better deal. Just to try it. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Well, maybe we should start with like the Disney Plus thing first, just right. because it just happened this week. Uh, I'll say after, you know, taking a look at what they have available, that as just an adult person, it's not. There's not that much there for you unless you're appealing. unless you're really just the biggest Marvel and Star Wars fan. Yeah, there's not to me. There's not a whole lot of reason to have it. And if it. you are, you already own all of those movies anyway. Right. Yeah. But, like, if I had a kid, like, if I had a young kid, hell yeah, absolutely. There's so much stuff there for the kids. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I like Pixar and everything, but I, like, I own all the Pixar movies that I like. You know, I'm an adult person who makes money, and I buy things. I'm a good consumer, (laughs) you know? I agree with you. (laughs) You are. So, uh, unless, like, those are your jams, I'd say pass on Disney Plus until they have more content. But I know they're still planning, like, Disney Plus is going to be the more family-friendly, kid-friendly stuff. I hate that. And that other, well, they also own the majority stake of Hulu, and that's where they're going to put their more adult stuff. Why can't there just be Disney that does half Everything. of their shit that's, that's family? I think because Disney is just so heavily branded kid-friendly yeah. and family-friendly that they don't want to I still think they're, gonna, they're the full of shit about letting Deadpool stay rated R. No, I think, and, I think they're, they're going to have to because... They're going to have to be comfortable with more adult material because that's a lot of what they adopted from Fox is more adult stories. They're going to have to make Blade R2. And I think they already said they were going to. I wish. I don't think they will. But No, I don't think they will either. I'm wondering a world where I feel like you could do a Blade film justice because you can get away with uh, certain kinds of violence as long as you're not showing blood. And vampires don't have blood anyway. No, but they're biting people all the time. Well, that's fine. That's going to be blood. And they don't have to necessarily show it. There's no way we're getting all the dick jokes we want anymore. They're not going to let Deadpool <laughs> do all the dick jokes. No, he's going. I think he's going to stay rated R. I think what they're trying to navigate with uh, Deadpool is trying to bring him into the Marvel Universe while also still letting him play in his own sandbox. And that's incredibly tricky because if a kid sees Deadpool in Avengers 22 yeah, and they're like, oh, I like that guy. And the parents like don't know if their the parents don't know shit. And they're like, oh, this guy has his own movie. They can do it really funny, by the way. If they, yeah. when, when he does cross over into like, let's say Avengers or something like that. And he tries to make a dick joke or he tries to cuss. It bleeps it out. It, it makes his, it makes him say something he's not trying to say. Then he gets pissed off because he can't say what he wants to say like all that. because of Because I was thinking like. Yeah, either that or like they literally do the the bleep in the black box, even though he has a mask on. Yeah, and you can't see what he's saying, <laughs> and then he he reacts to it because he's what the <laughs> bleep was that? It did it again. What the pig giggles? Something he's stupid. Like, you know what I mean? Be like, well, that's annoying. I'll just figure this out, and he just does something else. Yeah, that could be funny. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah. I mean, we're not going to get any more of this during the Avengers stuff. No, I mean, you know. No. That'd be funny, though. That would be. Uh, I will say, I mean, one of the biggest reasons I was excited about Disney Plus, like one of the only reasons, was The Mandalorian. And the first two episodes have come out. 
and you've watched them and I've watched them. I have no idea what you think of it. Are you pissed off about it? Am I pissed off about yeah, it? Yeah, I'm angry. About what? That it's good. What? <laughs> I mean that seriously. I'm pissed. I'm like fucking no, angry. I I'm watched not. that first episode. I was pissed. I'm like, damn it, this is like no. a new hope. It's in that, it's, it's in like a new, so the, now I'm pissed. I, I mean, the thing is, I'm not, I, what, why would I be I mad want, about good content? If it sucked asshole, when my free year's up, I'm ditching. Yeah. I don't want it. And that's the thing. I don't want it. Because I'm not going to watch anything other than, although I did watch Captain Marvel because I hadn't seen it. I haven't seen that. I haven't, I've, it's in my watch list. I watched your wife kick some ass, man. How's that? Is it okay? It's okay. Okay. It's okay. What I, what I That's I what I've kind of heard. It. it was like kind of like it was like a solid origin. I but. feel like every young woman or uh, needs to see it in a, in a very positive feministic yeah. way, where it's like you know, the whole film's about a lot about how men look down at women and not as an equal base. You know, in yeah. any scenario, even in a whatever, and and she's like, "Fuck you." I am just as, if not better at, and, and all this shit. And it, I, I liked that. I liked that they were, they pushed that in the film. Okay, nice. Yeah, The Mandalorian, like, it's so good, too. Like, yeah, that, that's, they, I'm pissed. They, ladies and gentlemen, they put a shitload of money into this. Yeah, they this. did. It looks fantastic. It looks great. Everything you wanted, like, anything you wanted to see from the old Star Wars, the best films, the first three. Now, I will, oh, so I do good. have one question about it, though. Yeah. How do you feel about the music? How was that? last night when I watched it last night? Because I just watched the new one yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, it pulled me out of it for a minute. I'm like, this doesn't. I'm not used to this with a Star Wars. Right. That, so you know, here's my problem. Like they had like this cool little bit of a tone that's kind of the Mandalorian like overall general yeah. theme. But then when it comes to it, seems like his journey theme. It sounds like a Star Wars score mixed with Rocky, like yeah, a Rocky it montage. Does. And then I'm like, that's it. Yeah. I was, I was like, you're trying too hard to make me feel this, this, you know, yeah. this emotion or whatever you're trying to get me to do. And I'm, it just felt weird. But I liked like the weird uh, parts where the, I don't even they have some instruments going that I've never heard, like some weird sounds. Yeah makes us feel otherworldly i like that part but when it comes in with those like fucking like trumpets and shit i'm like, <laughs> like is he right. about to like go fight ivan drago like, <laughs> that would be great <laughs> <laughs> and stop using the fucking iris opening and closing they're using it like i, I well, like that they're using it because it matches but at the same time they're using it so much every passage of time like when they were doing the whole thing rebuilding his ship mm -hmm. you know how many times they use that open and close just to know, just to show fixing this now than this and by the way time is passing that he already said it was going to take a few days mm -hmm. and then he's the other one said it would go a little quicker if you helped but you know it's going to take at least a couple of days yeah quit doing it quit quit doing it See, i really appreciate like a few things that they've done like they're they're not afraid of using puppets or like old school yeah, makeup which i love that part like too. that that helper dude yeah. who's voiced by nick nolte uh total mask and like the mouth movements don't necessarily match up with his. I love that his voice, but I'm into it. Yeah, yeah, I'm here for it. Uh, I do appreciate that. Like, I know people always just love the bounty hunters, and they were like literally in Empire Strikes Back for 25 seconds. Yeah, but you saw like IG88, the fucking crazy droid, and you get to see an IG style droid and how badass those motherfuckers yeah. are. Yeah, and voiced by Waika Tatiti. Yeah, or, why? Taika Watiti, I just completely I can't do his dyslexic name. his name. It's like when I say Shyamalan Ding Dong, because yeah. I, I, I Shyamalan, sh, sh, I don't, whatever. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. It's really good, and I like how because I don't want to necessarily spoil because it it's it's pretty new and not everyone has this, but I like that it's turning into almost a shoot 'em up or Children of Men esque storyline. Yeah, it's very Western like too. Yeah, like an old. Yeah. Another thing I appreciate. Yeah, the storyline is simple. Right. It's very linear, and each episode so far has had a very clear, like, this is our goal for the episode. There's no crazy B story. Like, there, you don't have to yeah. follow a bunch of stuff. And it really, really works with the style. Yes, it does. It's like, okay, you, you establish he's a bounty hunter. You give him this bounty that's kind of mysterious. That's it. Yeah. Finds out the bounty that he's after. Not quite what it was made to seem. Next one got to get off the planet <laughs> like, yeah it's, it's it, i love it it's 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 simple in the best possible way 
I agree completely. Um, but as far as Disney Plus, that's the only thing to really watch, unless you want to watch all the other stuff, or if you missed a Marvel film, but you can't see Spider Man on there. Just it's not the cartoons. The movies, just the cartoons. I will say, I loved the cartoon Gargoyles growing up, and it's on there, and I, I want to rewatch it. <laughs> you know what really sucks is um, Ultimate Spider Man cartoon. Mm-hmm. I'd never watched that, yeah. but but now that I've got this, so I'm gonna watch the old X Men cartoons. Oh, those are so so good. good. I I loved watching those. Um, but I'm like I'm gonna watch all these Spider Man ones I never saw. Mm-hmm. Ultimate is stupid as fuck. It is dumb as shit. Yeah. What the fuck is this? What is this stupid shit I'm watching? It's it's bad everything. Bad story writing. Bad. I hate it. That sucks. Like there's there's beast people on an alternate Earth planet, and Spider Man went. I don't give a shit. It's so stupid. I, Okay, so don't watch that. Don't watch that. Uh, if you have Disney Plus, send us a message and see what you think of it. So yeah, tell us why we should watch. Well, yeah, if you have any recommendations, like on it, like oh, you guys, you guys overlooked this, let us know. Yeah. Uh, continuing on to other recent things that have streaming thing. Don't watch Tall Grass. Okay, that was stupid. As f- I watched that last night. I is that a movie? Y- yeah, it's like Stephen King. His son and him wrote. This oh. horror type story well, in tall gra- It's dumb as shit. And it's really, really, really long. And okay. don't watch it. Like I was saying, though. Yeah. <laughs> El Camino? No. I haven't watched El Camino oh, yet. Oh, I want to talk about that then. Well, no, we're not going to talk about that. Uh, Rick and Morty's back. Oh, God. It's so funny. God, it's so fucking good. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You know you love it. Uh, <laughs> I watched it live. Yeah, I know you did. <laughs> yeah. I didn't get to because, well, I, I probably could have watched it on adultswim.com. But I missed the, I forgot about their after credits thing. Oh, that was so, so good. So Kyle texts me the next day and he's like, you did, did, you saw the after? I go, fuck, I forgot. I said, but I DVR'd it. He's like, get down there right now and watch so it. So funny. So funny. Such a good payoff. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this feels kind of like, because season three was very like, uh, what am I trying to think of? Like episodic as in like there are things that built on each other from each episode. Yeah. That was kind of the first time they really did that. Uh, this feels more like season one and season two where an episode could just be a fun adventure and there's not necessarily yeah, like a, Seinfeld be a, thing. a tying story yeah. that goes through the entire season. Yeah. But Rick's kind of back in the place of being a little bit subordinate to the family and he hates it. <laughs> and oh, it's just so good. It is. I love that he kept popping up in dimensions where they're fascists. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, he's like, oh, thank God you're just a shrimp and not a fascist. And the dude was like, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's just getting fucking destroyed by a fascist <laughs> shrimp. <laughs> so fucking nuts. It was. I feel like that's going to be a really good season. Like, I'm already. Oh, I, yeah. Uh, and Kyle and I, since like we're super into like the art side of it, mm-hmm. like, I follow some of the creators of the show, like the artists and whatnot. And their storyboard artist, Erica Hayes, actually got to direct that first episode. That was her first. Oh, really? That was her directorial debut. That's cool. And fucking nailed it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I agree. So good. It was. Looking forward to this next episode. I have no idea what it's going to be. Actually, I think the next one, Taika Waititi is like in his prime because I think he's his I episode's next. Oh, that's right. He is doing, uh, I forgot. That's right. You guys had sent something before about that. Yeah. But yeah, no, he is. He's in everything. Yeah. Everything. God. And I sent you that fucking, those badass uh, Rick and Morty statue. Man, if I was not, oh, it's so good. I, I honest to God, if I it was not already paying for the other thing, I'd have got right. it immediately. As far as like cool statues go, not a not a bad price. I think it was no, like no, one thirty, no. and they're big. Yeah, no, if it wasn't like it, that'd be a no brainer. I would definitely would have just gotten them. I just like that. There's like changeable arms That's where he's given what the fingers. Really got me. Yes. <laughs> as soon as I, I was like. So maybe I'll get them after I get my Joker. They were in pre-order still anyway, so. Yeah, as long as, is it a limited edition? I don't know. I'd have to go back and check. Mm. Damn it. Yeah, right, right. I'm worried I'm going to miss out on them now. Yeah. Uh, Karen and I did try the first episode of, I think it's called Living With Myself, Paul Rudd. Claire watched all of it. My... Uh... Jack and Daniela watched it all as well. Claire said it was really good, and Jack and Daniela swear by it. And I okay. just can't get myself. I love Paul Rudd. I just can't get myself to. I, you know me. I don't like to watch a lot of these shows. Yeah, I. I mean, the first episode was enough for me to want to watch the second episode, but it hasn't 
the first episode didn't like catch me. Like, it didn't hook me. Is it only one season? Yeah. And that's that's it. Well, I don't know if it's only going to be one season. Oh, okay. I have no idea. Yeah, I definitely don't think I want to watch it then. Um, I need to watch the second episode because it's, it's very quirky. And I'm not always into that style. Did you watch End of the Fucking World? No. Didn't I tell you to watch that? You might have. It but... is fantastic. By the way, the second season just came out. I, yeah. I, I don't binge. I benched the fuck out of it. Rick at work was saying I should watch it too. Oh, it's great. It is really well done. I think done. it's in my watch list. I think I had originally watched the trailer and I was like, yeah, that seems like a good one. And I just never got around to it. It is. It's really, really well done. I'm still working on finishing Preacher. Like, I'm oh. so far back. You got to finish that. So great. So I need to start great. getting up earlier again and like getting on the bike and just watching the show in the morning Yeah. before work. Yeah, that's, that's going to be the only way I get through some of these shows because Claire doesn't want to watch all these shows. Well, that's all Claire does is watch shows. That's why I don't watch any. You just ask her how it was. And how, how was that one, honey? I just assume she's watched it no oh. matter what it is. I, I swear to God, that is honestly how I feel because she watches everything. Everything. And her man in the high castle or some shit, whatever that I've is. I've heard that's a really good show. She loves that, like loves it, and uh, that just came alive yesterday i think it came alive it came alive i think it's its final season oh okay she watched all of jack ryan in like a day the second season a lot of people swear by that one too yeah i which i like him i just don't i'm not interested in the same shit it's like that 24 show claire loved loved that show and Uh, and jack ryan to me is a little like that show and i just i'm not interested i I want something fucking new and then when i asked for it i got it with the film lighthouse and i hate myself for saying it now fucking hate myself that was a smooth transition i wasn't even trying (laughs) this was wilm defoe and robert pattinson right yeah which is it just them it's just them you barely see uh well you get little flashes of side characters but before you really just them give us like a like a quick like Two cents summary what the fuck this movie is. Because okay. I don't even know. I didn't watch the trailer. So I guess um, in this time and era, I, I don't know what this, what this would be, 1800s maybe, there's a there's a lighthouse that has to be manned. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, back in the old, 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 old days, it's the only way that, you know, the ships could come to shore in this yeah. area. So uh, Willem Dafoe's character is, is the guy in charge of it, that he's always there. Like, that's his thing. Mm-hmm. And then... Um, someone another person that will bring him to help you know, maintain uh for three i think it's three no six weeks at a time is what it's supposed to be six weeks okay and then they'll come back and pick that guy up and go that that's what the job is and the people that usually go there are people who couldn't get a job somewhere else or yeah, they've got a shady this. past of okay. something and then that's the only thing they could get or they're, they're trying to hide out uh so robert Patton, the film opens with him being dropped off and then um it's maintaining this fucking lighthouse with Willem Dafoe's character who is fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. And then Robert Pattinson's character eventually goes into crazy too. Um, it's, 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 I love the witch and this guy wrote, you know, did, did mm-hmm. the, well, it's based on that folklore yeah. book, but, but he, I love this guy's style. This fucking movie's weird, man. It's, and I mean, I, it's like I left it and I'm like, I wasted two hours of my life because I don't feel like I got anything out of it. Okay. I, I even, I, if you can show me something while we're watching a film where I'm like, that's a cool angle. I might want to shoot something like that sometime or. So there wasn't even like anything technical. No. Going on where you were like, no, oh, that, they did that interesting. Yeah, no, that nothing at all. was cool. And the ending was just, nothing is, you're not given anything. You don't know, like you're, nothing's solved. Nothing's, there's no resolution. There's nothing. Okay. And it's, it's fu- the, the acting is great. Pattinson, you would love to see him in something that's not a fucking sparkly vi- vampire. Well, this I've heard is like it. all these, like he's been doing a lot of smaller films since then and like that he's actually great really good. Yeah. He was really, really good. He held his own up against Defoe. Who, Defoe's, my God, I, I love him. Fantastic. So there was no, like it was just, Descent into madness while you were watching over this yeah. lighthouse. So uh, basically, there's something about the actual light itself that's up in the lighthouse mm-hmm. that's mesmerizing. And Willem Dafoe's character will not let Pattinson's character 
Main, the maintain the light. He's not allowed to go up there. That's So that's his precious. That's his precious. <laughs> so Pattinson over time gets more and more pissed off. He's doing all the dirty work and he doesn't get to go up there. And then a huge storm comes in because this is this is only minorly. Who gives a shit? Don't ever see this movie. He kills a seagull. And mm-hmm. Willem Dafoe told him specifically, and I'm sorry, I can't remember their character names, but it's again, fine. doesn't give me. He tells him, you don't kill a seagull because it's a dead sailor's soul that's in that seagull, and it's bad luck. Well, Pattinson's getting ready to leave like the next day, and his seagull's been fucking with him. Like the whole, <laughs> like just okay. there in his way, and yeah. the seagull's already missing like one eye. So Pattinson gets finally pissed, grabs that seagull, and by the legs and beats it to death over and over and over again on a rock. It was kind of gross. It went on for like a full minute and a half, two minutes, and I'm just beating the fuck out of this damn seagull. Well, as soon as he does this, this huge storm comes in, and now his ship that was supposed to come pick him up isn't going to get there, and they're out of rations. All they've got left is liquor. All right. So they're getting more and more shit-faced, more and more crazy. They don't trust each other. They end up finding out that each one of them has a shady back or backstory that yeah. they were hiding. That's not your real name. Well, that's not your real name either. And they, they go fucking nuts. <laughs> it's fucking weird. And Pattinson keeps seeing some fucking weird ass mermaid lying on the shore. She keeps having dreams of her boobs and and her and her uh, mermaid vagina. They show a mermaid vagina. It's a mermaid vagina. And everyone talks about this film to like. You know, in the interviews, like, Pattinson, you had to do a masturbation scene. First of all, it wasn't a masturbation scene. It was, there were three scenes of him masturbating. Because, I mean, what, you know, you're two dudes on a rock. You're going to yeah, beat you're off. Gonna, yeah. What else um, are you going to do? But they were like, you know, how did you, know, how did you feel? And he's like, well, I just kind of let myself go. And I'm, I'm like, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see some dick. I know because I read this interview before. I'm like, fuck, I'm going to see some Pattinson dick. I don't want to see any some Pattinson dick. I don't yeah. want to see some cum getting shot in some guy's face, yeah. you know. See why they cast him as the Batman. Exactly. All right. So... Dude, there was. I've seen way more racy beat off scenes or masturbation scenes from a woman doing it. He was just his fucking back to the camera. That's it. Ooh, there was nothing to it. I'm like, where's the dick? <laughs> I, I like know. how you're like, I don't want to see no Patton's dick. And then when you didn't get, you're like, where was the Patton's dick? <laughs> well, yeah, well, you made a big deal out of it. He's got to be like fucking beating that thing to death or something. No, there's nothing, nothing to it. Nothing. He's just back. He does it a couple of times. You don't know if, if William Defoe's character is actually, he might be gay. They kind of do a little maybe. And he's trying mm-hmm. to get Pattinson drunk to fuck his ass or something too. I, th- I'm telling you, there's no resolution to anything. Nothing. Nothing. It doesn't really sound like there's a, a story. I couldn't tell you what it is. Like it's almost like more a simulation do you know how stupid this fucking thing? yes so what basically comes down to madness 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 yeah. Pattinson ends up killing defoe okay um and then he finally gets to go up into the lighthouse mm-hmm. and Patton uh defoe had uh, hit him with an axe already in the shoulder so he's already injured but he's going up this he finally gets up there the ooh la la opens it up gets up there the lights turning like normal and then it turns to him slowly and stops and then one of the window things open, and all you're seeing is Pattinson in front of you, uh, you know, facing the camera. Yeah. And he sees that the door opens, and it's like, <gasps> ah, and then he falls. Because whatever he saw that we don't get to see, he falls back down the thing. And you heard him go, crack, coom, coom. And by the way, he's fully clothed. Fully. Now, yeah. it goes to black. It comes back up. Pattinson's fully naked body is laying on the side of the rocks with the waves coming up and hitting him. And the seagulls are eating all his entrails. And he's still alive, laying there going, ah. That's it ends. It ends just like that. Why does he keep seeing mermaids? Why, why it's crazy? Why are there tentacles going? Like you'll see, like uh, octopus tentacles coming up around. That, that, that you assume this is oh, all just people yeah. seeing shit. Tentacle you know, porn. Tentacle porn. <laughs> why? Why was Defoe trying to fuck him? Other than maybe he wasn't really trying to fuck him. What did Defoe actually do? they kind of lean on that he must have killed the last one or two people that came there to work also. Mm. Why did I watch this fucking movie? <laughs> I was so irritated. That's how I felt after watching uh, Being John Malkovich. I thought that was a weird-ass movie. But, you know, I still, if that's on TV, I do stop. Because there were some really, there were some scenes in that that I liked. I liked all the Malkoviches in that one I yeah. think it was like a party or something. I forget the scene or what he's it was. Like, yeah, he's everybody. He's everybody. That cracked me up a little bit. Okay. And I love um, uh, Cusack. I fucking love him. Yeah. 
Speaking of movies, yeah, that why did I necessarily watch this? For different reasons, mm. I saw Zombieland too. Oh, you're really seeing what I still haven't seen it yet. It's just okay. Here's my thing about Zombieland two. It really doesn't have a story, which it, it doesn't necessarily need one. I would assume it just no, don't ruin it for me because I do want to see it. But yeah, it, I'll, it, I'll I, be pretty it, vague. Does it pick up right after? N- no. Oh, it just it can't. Just, How could they? It's ten years later in real time. Oh, the little Miss Sunshine gal. See, I didn't know looks, that. You know, oh, that's true. Older. That's true. That's right. You're so, right. You're right. So, given that there has been time, you know, there's been ten years. Yeah. The characters don't seem to have changed. And there's a lot. What does it bother you? I'd actually be all right with that. <laughs> well, the thing is, like, what made me laugh ten years ago doesn't always make me laugh today, especially because they do a lot of the same stuff like they do the kill of the week kill of the month like thing like breakout scene again where they show oh, they, they cut the to somebody well, else okay. doing a kill which is fine but tallahassee's still just one his twinkies nut up or shut up and does, does he still want the twinkies i don't remember if he yeah, i don't think he mentioned the twinkies what i love that that was like my favorite thing but he was obsessed <laughs> with twinkies you get that twinkie truck man in the first one i was yeah. dying laughing about him getting now, his twinkie truck given that like i don't like when people just reuse the same jokes a lot okay that's why hangover 2 is one of the worst movies of all time it. in my opinion because it's like they use the exact same script from hangover one and just did it over again that's dumb and i was like what they do a lot of the same jokes with these characters but like the gim- like the actual real f- parts that I thought were really funny, they showed in the trailer where like they they run into people that are basically mirror versions of themselves. Yeah, it's, it's Shaun of funny. the Dead. They just stole from Shaun of the Dead. That exact thing. Oh yeah, they did. That was just one scene, but like this is a little more drawn out. Oh. Uh, so that that part was funny, but literally the plot, they which they tell you in the trailer. The trailer gives you technically the whole movie. Oh, that's by sucks. saying I definitely don't want to watch that again. Then Little Miss Sunshine gal leaves to go like she finds a boy. Yeah, and they want to go get her. That's the story. That is the entire plot of the movie. Why is that not okay with you? Because it has to be. What would make it okay was it would have to be like consistently funny for to forgive the lack of story, and it wasn't. Mm. I, how explain? I don't know if I want you to explain this to me. I can't understand how Bill Murray's in a, this film again. It, is that explained, or yes. is it okay? Yes, that's that's nothing for you to like ponder about. It's a very simple way of getting him in the movie. Oh, okay. Um, Why is he in the movie? It, it's, it's because like, he was in the first one and people loved it. I know, but it's like what would have been to get Bill Murray to do anything anymore? But he he signs up he, for both. He of had these. a lot of fun. Like he's he's friends with Woody Harrelson. Uh, I, th- what I think they should have done instead of bringing Bill Murray back yeah. is do a surprise cameo by somebody else. That would have made sense to me. Yeah. Keanu Reeves is doing a surprise cameo in the next SpongeBob movie. I'm excited about that. <laughs> I love Keanu Reeves. I do too. Uh, I will give Zombieland 2 a lot of props for some actually really chore- well choreographed action scenes. Good. Like pretty nice scenes where they, they I'm sure a lot of it's fake where they're doing like a one but and they're doing all these cool camera moves, but I'm sure there's some cuts in there that are just you don't know necessarily yeah. notice. Uh they had some cool scenes like that, but this film would have been better if it was done two years after the first one came out. I it would have felt better. I would have liked it more if I had seen it closer to the first one. Hmm. What was what cracked me up? When we came out of the theater, I was overhearing this other couple, and this one was talking. Yes, that was it was so weird because like the little girl, like she's got boobs now. Like, <laughs> and I think that's part of the problem. Like since the characters, there was like literally no, they were the exact same as they were in the first film. Yeah, like there's no transition. Like they went from that movie to this movie, and all of a sudden the little girl has like tits. <laughs> but Emma Stone's in it. Oh, yeah. Dude, Emma Stone. I like Emma Stone. Oh, I like Emma Stone. I I, I hear you. Mm. Uh, but I mean, I'm I'm not saying. I'm no, sorry about that. I'm not saying don't watch it. Like this would have been a fine streaming or rental. Okay. But theater, 
definitely was not needed. What about the fact neither of us went and saw Terminator? What is it? Is this Salvation? Or the Salvation? This one's Dark Fate. Whatever. (laughs) Well, I read some reviews and I got one part spoiled for me. And I know I will never, ever want to watch it. All right. Well, don't tell me that because I'll see the shit-tastic film. It can't be that shit-tastic. It got enough people saying it's better than any of the other ones. It's Which is not saying much. It's going to lose money. Mm. People think this is the final nail in the coffin for the Terminator franchise. Oh, but you know, you got... I think the rights might revert back to James Cameron in totality yeah. in a couple of years. And he may do something with it later. But as it is now, I think it's dead. Yeah. All right, I won't see it in the theater then. Most of the, like, I won't get into the thing that would make me really not want to ever see this. Yeah. But most complaints that I've seen from critics are like... There's nothing new here. The story is always the same. A Terminator comes back to kill somebody, and you're trying to save that person. Yeah, that's always the plot. Yeah, they're, they're just rinsing and repeating the same yeah. thing over and over again, just making the Terminator a little bit different every time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just keep sending fucking Arnold back every time. And plus, yeah, I'm very anti these old action stars still trying to do it. Yeah, I am too. Well, you know me, fucking Rambo. Let's Don't even get me fucking started on that man again. Just give it up, boys. You <laughs> had your run and, you're in, and you were great. Yeah. Don't fucking muddy the water. Do what Clint Eastwood did, right? He was this yeah. action, whatever. And then he, then as he got older, he's like, this is stupid for me to be doing this anymore. And then he took serious roles. He's a great actor. Yeah. Like Stallone can act. You saw him in Copland. Yeah. He, dude can fucking act. Yeah. Just take serious Stop shit. Stop doing the action shit. Yeah do something more like that and it could it could still even be an action film but have it be your character doing age appropriate things yeah i agree god damn it <laughs> you see uh tom hardy started starting to put a little carnage and venom artwork up on they his, officially uh... started production did they start production yep. already i believe they did I mean, I knew he was doing all his workout routine, fighting M and A stuff I'm again because I follow sure him. He they like he made the announcement by posting like some kind of old. He's comic been post yes, he's been posting little. It has officially started production. I'm like a hundred and twenty five percent certain that that second film, which I'm going to like because Tom Hardy is in it, mm-hmm. is going to just really get me upset. <laughs> That's fair. It's there's no way they I know, can do it like, right. I know, I know. That's your whole thing. I mean, tell me honestly. He's a fucking well, serial killer. I get it. I mean, I don't know the character well enough. You like, should to you say, should. but like, given his origin, yeah, I completely understand. It it makes zero sense. Like, there better be some fucking sadistic killing that he does. Like in the comics, the, the, he's fucking nasty. Like he goes after just it doesn't even matter. You're just some like you're you're not even a main. You're not even a character that's related to the story. And he would go into somebody's house or building and just randomly pick some nobody and, like, fucking torture kill them. And I'm like, yes, yeah. that's what a serial killer would do. And they're not going to do that shit. No. They're already putting a love interest in this fucking film with Shriek. They've already... No. As, as Carnage's love interest. Like, his girlfriend. That's his girlfriend. Yeah. You, quit fucking muddying the well, waters with, with 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 this shit. I've, I bitched about this before. I like that I said muddy the waters, and we it's become a threat. Did I say it just now? Yeah, you just God did. damn it! I I made it. That's our phrase for the for this week. I've said this before. Don't put fucking kids in my movies. Don't put and, love interests and, and and no fucking love interests. Stop it. Just just fucking stop it. You're ruining my fucking movie. <laughs> my thing is just like why add another character? Yeah, like, I'm not watching the fucking notebook. I assume Shriek is a symbiote. Yeah, she's a symbiote. So why, it's like, why, it's like, they always do like, oh, the sequel. Now we have to have like four villains. Do you know what her like, ability is? She, she can do shrieks. A, she can do a sonic shriek, which would then, obviously you know where this is going, is going to cause the symbiote to not stay connected to Tom Hardy every time she fucking does that. Yeah. Which is, they've already done that in the yeah. first film. I still haven't seen the first film. Don't give me my, your usual shit. It was fun. It was fun. I hear you. I feel like you might Come be. Come over a, and fucking watch I it. I feel like you might be a little too close to you it. You call me fanboy liking it? Well, no, I'm, I wouldn't give you shit for liking it because I defended even the worst Batman film when I first saw it. Like, like I defended Batman Robin like after I saw it. And then you I, did? I, well, I, plus I was a little, quite a bit younger when that <laughs> what came about, out. What about when Lips Kilmer was Batman? Did you get along with that one too? I got along with that one for a lot longer than I did Batman and Robin. 
it was a better film. Batman and Robin was just absolute. Oh, that like, was bonkers. They went Ridiculous, back stupid. to like Adam West style campiness. Yeah. But I, I do want to watch it, but I just haven't gotten around to it. Come over and watch it. Sean sure. Hardy's great in it. And it's actually, it's actually funny in a, in a good way. A lot of times like yeah. sarcastic, there's a lot of sarcasm in it. Yeah. And the effects are, that were done on him look great. Yeah. Uh, it's just the stories kind of, and if you don't know the ultimate Spider-Man um, comic line where that Venom was not originally yeah. to then Peter Parker. Then you don't know things. You don't know things. That's why some people get a little burnt sideways about it because they're like, well, no, he's got to be, he's got to, it's got to land. It's got to attach to Peter Parker first. And I'm like, yeah, I completely agree with you. If you're going to go original origin, let's do it that way. But they're never going to do Secret Wars. So no, mm-hmm. this is the way you got to do it. And, uh, but no, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's fun. It's just okay. ridiculous. Yeah. I'll watch it sometime. Uh, I think we should wrap it up. Uh, I think we've given people. No, kind man, of I got a, other bullshit I've seen. Well, we can do it to be continued. The uh, bullshit episode part two. Yeah, bullshit episode like <laughs> random catch up part two. Um, we didn't even dis. Oh yeah, we did. We discussed a lot of stuff. We discussed you know some TV shows we're watching, what we think of Disney Plus, a couple movies we saw. I think we got people fairly caught up. Way behind. Way behind. Yeah, don't see fucking Lighthouse. No joke. Yeah, and just stream Zombieland too. I don't even know if you can go to the theater and see it right now anyway, so. One of you fucking critics are going to get on my ass and tell me it's an art film. And I've seen art films. That's... Antichrist is an art film. That movie is fucked up. But it, I could give you a many things in that movie that made me say, shit, that's amazing style. That's amazing camera work. That's amazing. Lighthouse is just fucking weird, man. Yeah. That's but the I... great thing about movies and TV. Somebody's going to like it. Yeah. You know, he's doing Nosferatu, right? Who? I, same guy and director. Who did The Witch? And I can't fucking wait to see it. I mean, he didn't stop me from wanting to see his films. It, right. It's, it's, I get this weird mixed thing from seeing I don't know. I can't explain it. Like, you know that the dude's capable, but... Yes. He ain't always going to hit a home run. Yeah. All right. Well, besides uh, being on the mend, yeah. what else you got going on, bud? I'm still running that fucking... So my daughter is fucked up right now. So mm-hmm. the, the last two the weeks, drugs. I've only been able to write like twice. No, because she yeah, had, she she had, had a stitches accident, in yeah. her foot and then uh, then she had her teeth removed yesterday. Had Wait, her teeth removed? She had oral surgery yesterday. I was at the fucking For her, like, hospital teeth? again. No. So her she has a, a, a an overbite she's okay. had. So in order for them to, she's had her braces and stuff and she's had to wear a thing to, to correct her bite. Yeah. Or her mouth, she's got a very small mouth. Yeah. So they've had they had to go in and remove two of her permanent teeth now, and they're going to tighten her teeth in there, and then her jaw wow. should line on top of her. I have an overbite, up. and I'm missing two of my permanent teeth. Are you? Your yeah. wisdoms, you mean? Well, I'm, wisdoms are gone, yeah. but my I the two on the bottom yeah. that are the next in line from the wisdom, yeah. both gone on each side. Huh. I was wondering why you were able to deep throat so easily. It's because you had that extra. Well, that doesn't make my jaw open anymore. It does that. It gives you a little less roughage on the way down. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking gross. Uh, But what do you have going on? I'm trying to finish finish my two fucking books. That's that's all I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to get that fuck. I'm trying to get it done. Mm -hmm. Is that me? No, that's the. uh, Oh. That's the heat. The heat. I forgot to turn that off. All right. So no, uh, just yes. Okay. I'm trying to finish the, I'm trying to finish the one book, then finish the, uh, the, the script of, of my outline for the thing I want to shoot. And that's, Mm -hmm. that's it. Right on. You. I am working on that room upstairs, which you see. It's taking way too long. I, I, I work every day and Mm -hmm. I, when I come home, since it's dark now. I don't necessarily want to paint when it's fucking oh, dark. I forgot about that. That's a good point. All right. I mean, I got a lot of light in that room, but when I'm painting the white, mm-hmm. it's hard to fucking tell where I painted already if it's that, if I don't have daylight. Sure. Uh, work on that. Uh, Procreate, the mm-hmm. app on mm-hmm. the iPad. I got into the beta for Procreate 5, mm. which they've added the ability to animate cool. in the software. Oh, is that the thing, is that the thing you sent me? Yeah, you yeah. fuckhole. I sent you that flapping dong. That was like a quick fifteen 
Like, not see, even people, like it was like a dick five jicks, minute thing. The dick jicks? The dick jicks. The, the dick jokes never end and are never not funny. No. <laughs> uh, so I want to play around with that. Uh, but other than that, like, just been working. All right, man. Yeah. So until, I mean, was that me? No, that was me. <laughs> that was an, that, that's what my wife calls an internal. It's set up for oh, the don't external. Even, don't, don't. You, it's a, you, you too fucking you better, make me sick. You better wrap this up and thus here you want to Until next it. time. <laughs> Keep your bodily fluids inside and except for the one. You got to get the poison out because we're born in Ohio. You know, when I fart, it's not fluid. Oh, I bet yours is. I bet yours is fucking nasty. Grease the cheeks. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You yeah. get fucking splatter everywhere. Yeah. I can, I just know it. Makes the poop come out better. <laughs> hey, if you like what you just saw, we'd appreciate a like and subscribe. Because, we, well, we that helps us. And don't you want to help us? Look at him. He needs help. Hit that. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it hard. Hard. Er. And then comment about how hard you hit it.